to welcome to another Hunter 6690 tutorial on how to get Skype for Mac OS X 10.4.11 um, and what? Yes, I'm running OS X 10.4.11. I don't know if it'll work from below because I've never had one below. So it'll say this. You don't want to get this because you need to have OS X. Line. You want to click on other downloads. I've got the tabs open. And you want to choose Mac OS X on Mac. And then it'll pop up this. You can still get Skype downloads. Download Skype 2.0 for Mac OS X. Click download. And then it will pop up all this junk. And then it should pull up the downloads window. should start downloading. And I guess I have an IBIS C4 right there. Kind of an old one, but it's okay. I'll just minimize this. This one actually kind of fast. It's got like two gigs. No, I'm not running Snow Leopard. I just have the freaking. I have a background of Snow Leopard. I found it on Google Images. Got about one minute, so. It'll pop up this little window right here. And when it's done, it should be right there. And it should be done. Click on it, it'll pop up Skype. 2.8 blah 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 dot dmg right there or not right there but I just moved it right there it'll probably pop up like around right here somewhere around right here where your open arrow icon is it'll put it there so you can dot delete skype dot dmg and then it will appear on a desktop I think you can eject this Right. It might not work. Yes, my Mac is kind of stuck when it comes to opening tabs and downloading. Right. So, um, it's almost done. It's got 19 seconds remaining. Click it when it's open. Now you want to hit continue. Then it will pop up this thing like this. And it should open it, it'll say this, and then it shouldn't be crossed off. You can have this in your applications folder. I already have it in the browser, it. It'll say that.
start bouncing. It'll pop up right somewhere in your dock. It'll start bouncing and it'll go down a little bit there. And it'll just stick up there. You gotta enter your Skype name. If you don't have Skype, then you need to make one. It's free. You can also get Skype free to talk to more than one person. And it'll do that and it'll just sign in and it'll pop up all your little things right here. First time it might not work, but if it works for you, it was the first time it didn't work. It's the second time it did work perfect. So, this is Hunter6690, and I hope you like this tutorial. Bye bye.